time to take a trip. Oh, how am I going to get my oils through security? And, and what oils do I take? Today, we are going to learn what oils to take on your trip and how to get them through security. So be sure to watch to the end to get all those tips. Greetings, this is Marsha Vogel with Ray of Hope Essentials coming to you from beautiful Soldotna, Alaska. Yes, um, we are, my family is up here on a fishing trip and I thought I would show you what kind of essential oils I brought to help on our trip. Because you can't bring everything. There is way too much. So I apologize that I did not bring my tripod stand with me so it may be a little shaky it may have some different views but I wanted to take advantage of this time to show you this beautiful um, area and let you see what what I bring out with me when I travel so first of all I we are traveling all the way up here I'm going on a plane Yes, so we're packed in like sardines. So I always bring um, a baggie with breathe lozenges, on guard lozenges, and ginger lozenges with me. The on guard I take use on the plane all the time to boost my immune system because I don't want to get sick. I also have this little case with me that's always in my purse, and it could, I don't know if it's a, supposed to be a little pill box or a tackle bag but I use it for doTERRA supplements. So I have On Guard here, Digestins, um, Digest Tab, so it's got like Tums with Digestin in it, which is really great for upset stomach, heartburn, Deep Blue for the aches and pain, polyphenols for the aches and pains, for Digestin Soft Tabs, and I have threw in some turmeric capsules, dual caps. So we've got oil and powder within them. Serenity to help calm me, help me sleep at night. Tries because every, when you go places, there are different different pollens out there, and we have this beautiful flower. It is. You can see it back here. It's called fireweed. And it's purple. It's lovely. It's wonderful. But it is making me sneeze some, and the tries does help me with that. Um, this is my adaptive soft gels to help me uh, when things get a little crazy. They change your flight plans. Things are running late, not working quite like I planned. That's, that comes in handy. And then Copaiba soft gels, which um, help with just about anything. I use them mainly for pain, sometimes to help me sleep. So those are always with me wherever I go. Then the other travel thing, I've got some Kapaiba. I've got 20 drops in a 10 mil roller ball. So this is great for when I get some head tension. I roll it across my forehead and down my back and across my shoulders, and it helps to soothe that. I have on guard beadlets. So these are tiny little, it's quarter of a drop. And it's stuck here. There we go. There we go. So it's a quarter drop of On Guard oil in a little teeny beadlet. Pop it in your mouth. You can swallow them whole or you can let them dissolve and it gives you a little nice little burst of cinnamon. So they're kind of handy. Immune booster. These are great on planes. These are easy to share with people if you got somebody coughing. Hey, would you like to try this? Hey, yep. Whatever it takes so you, to keep you healthy. I hurt my knee before I left, so we've got my wonky knee blend. This has eight deep blue, six frankincense, six marjoram. Ooh, I got oil on it. Oh, six lemongrass and five capaiba. Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, four black pepper, four cypress, and four turmeric. So 
that in a, all that in a 10 mil roller ball, fill it up with a fraction of coconut oil, rub it on my sore knee when it hurts, sore back, sore muscles. This is wonderful for anti-flame inflammation, achy, things like that. So that is with me. Adaptive, I don't go any place without my adaptive roller ball because stress does happen and this calms me down and makes me very happy. Helped me sleep the other day. Um, helped me when it just, it was a, kind of a little rough day and wasn't what we were planning on. Helichrism. This came in super handy to, as my sister got beamed in the head with a fishing weight. Yes, she had a major goose egg. She now is sporting black eyes. But after she went to the ER and got her CAT scan or MRI or whatever they did to her, then she, we came back and I oiled her up. We put on the Copaiba to help with some pain. Then we put on Helichrism to help with to slow the bleeding and hopefully prevent some of the black eyes. So she's still got some black eyes, but it's not quite as much as I think it was would have been otherwise. And then we layered frankincense on because frankincense helps drive oils, everything in. And frankincense is good for everything. Um, so it's the king of oils. If you don't know what to, when in doubt, you get the frankincense out. So we piled that on her and we did that three or four times. And her, her, her goose egg that was like this is now, it's just about like this over her eye. Um, so that is also one thing that I bring. Magnolia is in my bag. This is another blend that is super great for overwhelm. Traveling is not always easy. My husband doesn't like to travel um, on planes. He likes to get away from people and being packed like a sardine is not his cup of tea. So I put the oils on me. He gets the benefit of them as we go along. I apologize for the up and downs. What else do I have? My I can't be sick blend, which is um, frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and melaleuca. So basically 10 drops of each in a roller ball. Rub it up and down your spine. You can rub it on your neck. Um, it's to boost that immune system. They're all immune boosters. Also referred to as flume or flute with the first letters of all those oils. I'll put the recipes in the instructions down below. Um, the pain bomb. Yes, this is, uh, I make, a, make it in a old frankincense bottle. This is what I use on my husband when he gets intense headaches. Or if you have intense pain of any kind, it helps with that also. So I put, so basically I'm going to put it, the end thing in a capsule, just a little gel capsule, but it is, uh, ends up being three drops of frankincense, three drops of marjoram, three drops of basil, and one drop of Melissa oil in here. I just put zeros on the end of that and make a larger volume to take, and then I just have to drop seven, eight drops of that in a capsule for him when he gets some head discomfort. When we are handling fish, you get slimy hands and they get cold in the water and then they come out and they get dry and in wet and dry, wet and dry. And you end up with little cracks in your hands, which don't feel good and dry flaky hands. So we got shea butter with blue tansy, yarrow and neroli. You can make this your own. This was a Christmas special. But it is real easy to just take a, some shea butter, put it in a double boiler or a glass bowl on top of some steaming some steaming water, melt it down, let it cool a little bit, and I would probably add three to five drops of blue tansy, yarrow, and and shea, and neroli. Very soothing to your hands. My husband is actually getting by without having great big deep splits, which it, it's normal for him to have those when he goes fishing. So, hey, that is a win for me. I brought 
forgive. I'm traveling with family. Yeah. Forgive is an oil. Sometimes you need to forgive yourselves. Sometimes you need to forgive others. Sometimes you just need to help let things go. And this oil does help with that. So that is in there. Cheer. You know, things happen. This is one of the happiest oils I know of. It, it, lots of citruses and mints. And it, I think it's mint, citrus and mint. It is wonderful. Makes you happy. Aroma touch. So this one works. It's the massage blend. It helps with tense muscles to loosen them up. I will put it on my back, my back of my neck, across my shoulders. I also use this for muscle cramps. So on the plane, before I get on, I make a trip with this to the bathroom, rub it up and down my shins and across the top of my feet. That's where I usually get cramps. And that helps tremendously to keep me comfortable on the plane. Um, it also stays at my bed and I, because I get them in the middle of the night and that's why I hop out of bed, roll these on and they go right away and makes life a little happier. I brought two bottles of this. This is Terra Shield. This is the insect repellent because the mosquito is a state bird of Alaska. However, we have been very, very blessed. We only had one day where there were, were a bunch of little flies and gnats running around. Don't need much of this. I did a cup, I had a baseball cap. I spritz, spritzed the brim twice. And I think I put one on, spritz on each sleeve. And I wasn't bothered by the bugs the rest of the time. So this is also with me everywhere I go. This is the breathe stick. It is breathe in a coconut or I think it's coconut oil base. So yeah, I love the smell and it helps to open your airway passages. It helps make me happy, um, helps me sleep. I let's see, also brought some peace, which is another one of the emotional blends that helps to calm, helps with the racing mind. You know, you lay down and all these things and I've got to do this in the morning and I got to do this and this and this and this and all this happened and I can't believe I did that. And, you know, this helps to just slow it down and give you a rest. This is my anxious mess blend. It is balance and serenity together. It works wonderful when things aren't going well to calm you down. Okay, then I also bring with me my staples. I've got Serenity, Calming Blend to help me sleep, Melaleuca. This is great for um, anything skin. So cuts, scrapes, scrapes, bruising, oops, sorry. Um, cuts, scrapes, bruising, lavender um, is calming to skin, soothing for, for emotions. And wonderful for burns. So that's, I usually carry that. Um, peppermint. Great to calm your stomach, freshen your breath. Be a driver to put other oils in. Um, upset stomach. Room deodorizer. Yes, this works really good. A little bit on a Kleenex, set it around the room. When you got some people that had foods that maybe give you a little gas or something like that. So this comes in handy. Uh, those are the majority of the oils I travel with. Oh, it says this, I'm not sure if I said celery seed. This is great in tomato juice. It actually tastes really good in tomato juice. But it also um, works for the the pain right about here after you eat um, a couple drops under your under your tongue and they're gone so as you can see i am now home from my trip i did want to mention one other oil that came in really handy and that was the deep blue rub this was great for 
tension in the shoulders and causing pain to go up into the head, sore muscles from reeling in all those fish, sore shoulder from casting all day long catching fish. This came in really handy. We used it on sore knees, sore legs, sore backs. Um, you can get this in, it is four mils, so it should be good to go through security in your zipper bag and it shouldn't be a problem, but it also comes in sample packets that are wonderful for travel. And yet a little goes a long way. So one little packet can be multiple applications. Now, as far as getting through security when you're flying and what oils to bring, I used to travel with a lot of oils. So I do know some people who will take a big padded case with 60 oils in it. They carry it onto the plane and all they do is unzip it and tell, say it's just security, these are my health supplements and they can't question health supplements or medicine. So the only time I heard of anybody having trouble getting through security is if you're A, well, two. A, if you're obnoxious and are belligerent right away from the get-go. If you're, if you're polite, you get a lot farther. But the, other, the main thing was somebody had had oil that was given to her and they mixed it with glycerin. Don't know why there is no, re I cannot think of a reason to mix it with glycerin, but they did. And she got flagged as a bomb threat. Glycerin is part of nitroglycerin. Yeah, so we don't wanna go there. She got a very long, interesting conversation with TSA. So just use regular fractionated coconut oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, even olive oil to dilute your oils. You've got lots of choices. So um, sweet almond is another great one. So use those and don't use glycerin. When I first started traveling, this was my little essential oil bag. I actually took this to work with me all the time. It was setting out on my desk at the hospital and lots of people would come by and say, oh, can I smell your oils and sample this and sample that? And it, it's a great way to share oils and it's a great way to just let people know that they work. But I would take my oils and I can fit between 45 and 50 oils in this little case. I put like 20, 10 to 20 drops in these little, I think these are two dram um, bottles. And you can get them online. You can get them at any essential oil supply shop. So I would fill them up and I put a sticker on them on the lid so I know what was in them. And I would have no problem getting them through security. I put some cushion in them, put the lid on, if I had them packed in my regular suitcase, I would put them in a big gallon Ziploc bag and then cushion them with clothing around it. Um, I often carried them in my backpack. I would just take it out, open the lid, take the bubble wrap off so they could see what was in it, put it in the bins going through the x-ray, and I was never questioned. So I can't guarantee you that won't be questioned, but I know a lot of oil people who travel with their oils and it's not an issue. You just say they're your health supplements and it's not a problem. I still tend to check a bag most times. And when I do, this is what I tend to take. This, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them, I think I got this one through Oil Life or you know, this one I got straight from doTERRA as a promo item. Um, this holds 16 oils of any size and then it also has little little elastic up here that you can put roller balls in it um, so I the, my main oils which I listed earlier are in this case and I I need to take that I could also put it in my backpack but I don't want the weight on my back so I check, tend to check it you could also put it in your checked luggage and just oh take it out and set it in the roller like you would your your shampoo and conditioner and it's not an issue you don't your essential oils do not have to be part of your quart size bag because these are health supplements so there's they're in a different category 
this bag goes in my is in my backpack or my purse when I travel. This is just a little dollar store bag. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And this ha this goes with me everywhere I go. Has the my main essentials that I take everywhere I go with me. Um, so any type of little pouch like this, all I do is unzip it, set it in the little bin, and it goes through and it's not questioned. If you found value in this, click like, hit subscribe. I'll be making more videos on different ways you can use your essential oils in your health and wellness journey because they don't do you any good sitting on your shelf. Thanks for joining me and safe travels.